Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I appreciate you being here. So today we are looking at a huge beast T880 dump truck. Uh, it has a triaxle pup in behind it. So it's a really fun uh, setup, a combo unit that we put together. And uh, it's a sold unit and uh, I'd love to show it to you. So let's head outside, roll that intro and we'll see you at the truck. So here we are at the truck. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's nice. All right. What a beautiful day here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Gotta love it. Gotta love this truck too. Just look at how nice this is. Brand new 2020 Kenworth T880. New star gravel box for the triaxle pup. What a cool combo. Uh, let's get into the details of this truck. So like I say, it's a T880 2020 model. It's got a 20,000 pound front axle. Uh, I put in 46,000 pound rear ends in this truck and a 52,000 pound Hendrickson suspension on here. So that's uh, the Primax suspension. And look at the lugs on these tires. These are the Bridgestone L320s. Just beefy. Aluminum rims all the way around. We have uh, the depth tank right here on the passenger side with the hydraulic tank that is from the factory. Got a little bit uh, mucked up here. I guess some hydraulic fluid on it, but uh, we'll have to buff that out before it goes. <clears throat> and uh, dual exhaust, dual air cleaner, not dual air cleaners, dual uh, beacons up on the roof. And we also put on the, uh, the beacon lights on it. Uh, the spotlights rather. So it has those uh, really neat uh, spotlights. You can adjust those. I'll show you those when I'm inside the cab. Uh, painted mirrors, uh, they're all heated and motorized. So those uh, move around for you and they are a breakaway style too. We also put on the, uh, the hood mirrors. So when you're in and out of job sites, you'd appreciate them. Uh, as far as function, you won't find anything that gets you better visibility than those. Just look at that stance. Like what a mean looking machine this is. Holy smokes. So the boys over at New Star put this box together. And what's interesting about this box is it has a proto, this is a prototype box. So if you look up here, this is a brand new design, something that uh, the customer wanted to implement a flip down side. Uh, why would they want that? Well, they wanna have the height of a big box so you can get lots of product in there. But when you're loading with a Bobcat or, um, or a skid steer of sorts, it doesn't have as high a reach. So with this crank system here, when you undo that pin, this whole thing just cranks down.
and uh, just gives you that much more uh, access to the box. So really neat setup there. It's kind of unique. Down here, these little red guys on both sides that uh, just latches on to there. That's just for safety. If you're doing any service work on the box, you can uh, lift the hoist and have it rest there for uh, to keep it nice and safe. We have the seven inch uh, fuel tank straps, polished tanks, polished straps. So a really nice setup there. 150 gallon fuel tank, really nice setup. Like I said, 20,000 pound front axle, 46 rears. We have drum brakes on this all the way around. It's a really sweet, sweet setup. Heavy duty frame rail. And we plumbed this with air and electric to the back of the frame here. So we'll just lift this guy up here and look at all those controls. So I had to disconnect this all and reconnect it all up so we can get the truck cleaned up. Uh, the, the guys at Big Truck Detail, just a little tight to get in there with the, the pup trailers. So you got your main hydraulic line here. This one here is to run the uh, cylinder on the, on the pup. Uh, we got the two smaller ones here. This is the uh, draw and the return line to lift that uh, hydraulic uh, end lift gate. Got your air lines for the trailer uh, brakes, the, the supply and return. And then we have your main light, uh, main line here. You have your extra cord here. This is to run your uh, tarp and all that. Sorry, this is your tarp. And then these are for uh, your tailgate trip and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, quite a few uh, controls down here. We also have the seven pin down there for the electric trailer brakes that I was showing, I'll show you in the cab there in a minute. So that's, uh, and this has got the pintle. So this is an air pintle. So it just kind of hooks right on there like so. It's all locked in, loaded, and ready to go. Wow, what a machine this is. Holy smokes. Uh, there's your dolly to uh, set it down. Just take a walk around the box here. So it's pretty much the same as what's in front. Uh, air ride, we do have controls right over here. Uh, you open up this box here, you can drop and uh, drop the air of the tire or the uh, suspension. And on the back here, it, like I said, it's got the hydraulic uh, end gate. So this whole gate lifts up and uh, maybe I'll show a video of that here. And here's the lock that's controlled from inside the cab. So it's just a, and there's also a control on the, uh, the pup as well. Just a really nice, uh, really nice setup. So gotta love it. So let's open up the hood here and see what we have powering this beast. What do you guys think it is? Any guesses? Uh, a little baby Cummins? Or how about a baby Packard? I don't know. I think it's a big Cummins. Introducing the biggest, the baddest, the meanest, the biggest engine Cummins makes the 605 2050 torque rating engine. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> Gotta love it. I love that anniversary edition badging on there. Just really cool. So there she is in all her glory, the biggest engine that Cummins makes right there. Just soak it in. Uh, oh, we got some fuse panel open here. I wonder if the guys at the uh, body shop were, or the bodybuilder shop were getting in there for adding things to the truck. There's the hydraulic fluid for the clutch. It's an air assisted hydraulic clutch. So very soft pedal, easy to push in. And all your airlines are terminating right there at the firewall over here we have your fuel water separator we have uh, your quick connector to air up the truck right there oil fill check power steering your washer fluid coolant on the other side there so nice easy access lots of room inside the cab or the uh, engine area here under the hood your headlights are protected you take these one two three Where's the two, three, take those off. This comes off. Headlights are raining behind there. <coughs> Let's uh, check out the other side here. Hot side of the engine here. There's the turbo HVAC system. I've shown this lots and lots. 
open that up. Hey, we got a friend. Hello, friend. Bye, friend. Uh, there is your uh, secondary filter. This is your primary filter. So those are uh, easy to change, easy to get to, like so. Look at how much room you have. When the wheels are cranked, you got lots of room to get in here and uh, work on everything, get close to the engine. Here's the factory, uh, sorry, the, uh, in, here is the Webasto heater that we installed at the store here. This is for the engine. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit about the hood here. So we'll just hit the latch here, the safety latch. Close up the hood and take a look on the inside. All right, so here we are inside the cab. Let's uh, just kind of go across the dash and I'll show you what we have. A uh, few additional options that we have on this truck as it's a little bit more of a vocational uh, application. There's a few other uh, added items here. So let's just show you what that's all about. Um, so basically the standard door, uh, we have your door locks, window lift controls, heated and powered mirrors. Those are standard on the 2.1 meter cab. Uh, down below here, uh, we have electric trailer brakes that was installed by Newstar, uh, the box manufacturer. So that's uh, that's included there. Here's your adjustment for the dash brightness, your interior lights, and your exterior light test. Uh, this is for a rear-mounted floodlight. I don't think anything is hooked up to it, but uh, it's just on there. And then there's the uh, switch for the beacons uh, to throw those on. As far as the standard gauge cluster, here we are across the uh, the dash here, and then uh, down below. Here is your uh, spare switches. This is tied into the truck tailgate and the, um, the pup tailgate. So those are controllable from inside the cab. There is also a control on the uh, back of the pup trailer for the tailgate lock as well. Here's your trailer brakes, engine fan, uh, cruise control. This is for the spotlight. So this is something you don't see on our trucks too often. So when you flick that one on, it powers up the passenger side light uh, right up there. This guy right here has a switch right on it and you can adjust that and uh, the light actually kind of turns around. Uh, I don't know if you'll see it here. I'll just show you. You can kind of see as I'm turning uh, the light kind of moves around and you can adjust it different ways. So kind of a neat, uh, neat little feature there that we have on the truck. Uh, there's your regen switch. Uh, here's your air suspension dump, your power divider, front and rear diff lock. Here's your PTO switch. Uh, there's your pintle lock switch. So that's to lock and unlock your pintle hook on the back there for the pup. And then additional trailer switches there. Uh, over here is your dash uh, gauges. So these are the optional ones that we just filled up with, uh, you know, turbo boost, diff temps, uh, trailer, pro trailer brake application, uh, air suspension pressure, etc. So that's all there. Uh, it has an 18 speed manual transmission is a 2050 torque rating to go along with the 2050 torque engine. And a few things down here, uh, down here we have the box hoist up and down. I'll show you that in a minute. And it does have a hydraulic tailgate. So we'll show you how that works here momentarily too. And then here's the same thing for the pup and uh, the tailgate for the pup. Now we also installed a factory or a Wabasto heater at the dealership here uh, for the engine and for the cab. <coughs> so that's where we installed the cab heater. So that's just gonna pump out heat to warm it up here in the, uh, in the winter time. And we put the controls right up here for the engine, right over there for the interior cab. And that's uh, pretty much it, so yeah. All right, so I know I kind of motored through a lot of the details on the truck here, but it is a Friday afternoon. It is currently 5.30. Uh, I want to get home, but I also wanted to bring this truck to you because uh, this truck is leaving here tomorrow. Um, picking up my customer at the airport and uh, he's driving home. So I wanted to get this video while it's sunny out. And uh, I love the lighting at the end of the day here. It's just great for, uh, for getting some decent pictures with the sun just hitting that truck. Boom, love it. Uh, so thanks for coming by the channel. Thanks for watching uh, this video. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel down there, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified about future videos only if you hit that bell. So make sure you do that. Also, if you want to click up here, you can go to thekenworthguy.com. 
I have all the new trucks, used truck inventory that we have listed here in Canada. You can give me a call and I'd be happy to give you a hand with something there. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked out my social media, you can also uh, check out my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, all those different things. LinkedIn, you can just go to thekenworthguy.com and I have links there. So thanks for coming by this channel. I appreciate you, the viewer, and the customers. Thank you for buying trucks from us. <laughs> and as always, have yourself the world's best day. All right, I'm kind of, I lost my train of thought here. <coughs> what am I going to say next? So, how are you doing? Okay. Here we go. Da, da, da.